When I was a child, my speech, feelings and thinking were all those of a child. Now that I am an adult, I have no more use for childish ways. What we see now is like a dim image in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. For what I know now is partial, then it will be complete as God's knowledge of me. Meanwhile, these three remain. Faith, hope and love. And the greatest of all these is love. come here to this beautiful church so the Lord may seal your love in my presence the presence of all gathered here this day Christ blesses this love Christian marriage is a sacred union which enriches natural love it will bind you who enter it to be faithful to each other forever it will create between you both a bond that will endure for life and cannot be broken it demands that you will love and honor each other, that you will accept from God the children he may give you, and bring them up in his love. To help you in your marriage, husband and wife will receive the lifelong grace of the sacrament, which you will celebrate yourselves today. That's the understanding of the church, all down through the centuries. And so I ask then, is this your understanding of marriage? It is. It is. I invite you to declare that before God in his church, your consent to become husband and wife. To you, Adrian, take Nicola as your wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. I do. To you, Nicola, take Adrian as your husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. I do. What the Lord has joined together then we must never try and separate. May the Lord confirm the consent you've just given and enrich you always with his many blessings. Nicola, wear this ring as a sign of her faithful love in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adrian, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can kiss now if you like. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm the most luckiest person in the whole world to have met someone as special as you. I was working in Dublin and I saw this beautiful nurse on the plastics ward. She was always very happy. Uh, it was her radiance, that dimpled smile that actually drew me in and I couldn't take my eye off her. But it wasn't until 2am, I, I got a call at 2am about a sick patient and that's what I'm actually most grateful for because this was actually how I managed to get Nicola's phone number. <laughs> I, I was actually really chuffed with myself and when I actually got the courage to ask her out she replied in a text saying I'm in Vietnam sorry I'm away for a month <laughs> so thankfully that wasn't actually the subtle clue that I thought it was going to be and we actually did go on our first date when she got back from Vietnam and you've made me the happiest person ever since Nicola to me you're perfection I'm so happy that we get to spend the rest of our lives together. Here we go.